The stock market rebounded today after the United States said it would delay the latest rounds of tariffs on China until December. This, as many financial advisors, are predicting that a recession will hit next year. But one local expert says, stay the course. It gets harder and harder the, the further out you go to predict that recession, but I think right now, 2020, we're still safe. The ups and downs of the stock market can lead some to wonder, are my retirement investments going to flop? Scripps Ranch financial advisor Chase Wilsey says, don't be too quick to sell. I think this is going to be another story five to ten years from now where people say, I can't believe I made that mistake of selling when I shouldn't have or those people that didn't sell said, I'm so glad I didn't sell. When it comes to retirement, Wilsey says, stay the course. He adds, even if we do see a recession, chances are it will be nothing like the Great Recession of 2008. I think we're gonna see continued stock market volatility for the next year or so. But I think long term, you just have to take a breather and say, you know, it's gonna be okay. One thing that makes investors shaky is President Trump's threat of more tariffs on China, but Wilsey says consumer spending is still strong. So even though we've had tariffs for about a year now, it's not impacting the consumer. You know, that oh my gosh, tariff this, tariff that. They've been in place again for over a year, but consumers are still out there. They're still confident. And while many financial advisors are predicting a recession, Wilsey says those predictions may be based on the mistaken belief that the United States economy can't continue to grow. That Australia is actually in an expansion that's lasted over 27 years. And then companies like Norway, Ireland, and uh, Germany have all had expansions that have lasted over 15 years. So this whole length concern of a, an expansion is really not a concern at all. Chase Wills and his father Brent are advertisers with KFMB stations. They also host a radio program on AM 760, which is owned by the parent company of CBS News 8.